you have more power than you think you do. Most of us are able to accomplish much more than we think we can. And I think it's normal that we don't realize it. If you think about animals, and I'll use a deer for example, and you're trying to you know, go up to a wild animal, you can hold food in your hand, but a lot of times the animal will hesitate. It'll keep, it'll keep a distance. And over time, maybe that animal, if you keep seeing that same wild animal, you can maybe create a bond with it, but it still has that natural instinct where it wants to stay away from humans. Birds on the beach, same thing. You know, they always keep, they always keep their distance. Human beings do it too, except we do it with our minds. For example, if you have a friend and your friend tells you, hey, you should try this new thing or you should go do this new thing. The first thing that most people create in their minds is, okay, this new thing, you know, is it safe? You know, is it okay for me to do it? You know, what's going to happen? What are the consequences? We start thinking because we are intelligent creatures. And so it's normal for us to think about the situation, but we tend to sometimes overthink and we have this defensive mechanism because we're built for survival. It's, it's just like the birds on the beach. Being self-aware of that, being self-aware of your survival instincts when they kick in can help you progress in life. You know, so if someone says, hey, you know, you have that test coming up in a week. Ah, I need to study for that test. That, that again, that, that creates a whole series of thoughts. And all of this can be resolved with one simple thing. Right? There's one thing that you can do by being self-aware that perhaps the bird on the beach does not have the ability to do. I mean, maybe, maybe it does, but I don't know. I don't, I don't think so. And it's take action. Okay? The action that you take is going to remove all of that insecurity, all of that doubt, all of the stress that is being created from the inaction. You know, many, many times when you have a task in front of you and you're trying to do it, you don't do it and that causes stress. Your, your inaction is, is what's creating the stress. And so you can take action, remove stress, and change your life. It, it really is that simple. It's all about action. In fact, it's so important that I actually wrote a book and the entire book, it, it, all of the principles in the book are about things that you can do that will help you take action. Because think about it, right? If you want to learn math, you have to do math, right? No amount of planning or researching, <laughs> or is, is gonna do it for you, right? Or if you want to get in shape, you have to work out and you have to eat well, right? No amount of research and reading articles on the internet about you know the 10 best foods to eat, it, it's not gonna do it for you. I mean, I wish it did. I could sit there and read these articles all day long. Like, oh, that's a good idea. I love avocados, but it's not gonna help me get in shape, right? You have to put in the work for everything. And what does that mean, put in the work? It means take action, right? We, we call it work, and so we associate it with, you know, the word work itself is kind of a, a, of a negative word in some sense, like, oh, work, work. It's just action, right? It's just action. And it relieves stress, because if you have something you're trying to do and you just get it done, that's how you change your life. Right? That's how you make positive steps. And that is the best advice I can give anyone who is trying to improve their lives is take action, right? Take action. A lot of times people have a hard time getting started. And so this is where the idea of being self-aware is also very powerful. So again, in my book, I'll, I'll mention it again. There's a technique, I call it momentum mastery. Here's my book, by the way. It's in chapter, let's see what chapter it is. Three or section three, it's a small book. You can read it in a day. Oh, it smells really good. Momentum mastery. So what that is, is if you're having a hard time getting started, okay, realize that. Say, okay, I don't really want to do this. This sucks, right? But then realize that once you start, 
you're going to feel differently, okay? You're, you're going to start building what I call mo mo momentum. Like once you do one math problem, or once you go to the gym and you warm up a little bit, it becomes easier to keep going. So when you are aware, when you are aware of the fact that once you start, it's easier for you to keep going, you're more likely to, to push yourself and say, I'm gonna do it anyways. I'm gonna do it anyways. I mean, so how, how do you push yourself? It's also my book. I call it the shifting power. So a lot of times when you're trying to get started on something, you know that once you start, you know that you'll be all right, but you can't get started. So you have to develop the ability to push thoughts out of your mind. And say, what? Yeah, think about it. When you're having a thought, you really are just thinking about one thing. So if you can learn to control your mind, you can control your actions. And we talked about it before, your actions are what's going to lead to changes in your life. Action, action, it's all about action. It's all about doing, it's all about doing. And doing takes more energy a lot of times, but you can get addicted to doing, you can get addicted to action because if you take action and you succeed, you're going to keep doing it. For example, let's say you decide to study mathematics and you take a test and you do well. Well, because you did well, it's like a reward. You'd be like, wow, I worked hard and it worked. So you tend to do it again. Now, not every action is going to lead to success, right? Most actions, especially when you're trying to do something hard or big, are going to be small little micro failures. And if you think about it, anyone who's done anything big in this world has had a series of micro failures or failures up until the point they had that big success. So failure, in some sense, is positive in some sense, right? It's, a, it's an instrumental part of success. It's necessary for success. You, know, you have to have those failures until you get that, that big success. You can change your life, and it's just simple. It's just action. Action. Anyways, that will give you the ultimate power, you know, because if you can learn to take action and get things done, if you can become one of those people, then, then you're set. You just wake up in the morning and you have something to do, just say, do it now, do it now, do it now, and you just do it. And you just do it and get it done, and you're gonna feel so much better. Another thing you can do that will give you power is try to get into a routine. I call it morning power because the mornings, I think, are the best times. It's actually in my book, there's a section called morning power. And I feel that in the morning when you think, when you exercise, especially think, use your mind in the morning, you're able to process things better, retain more information, and the learning just, it just sticks. I always, and I was in college for years, way too long, I always, like so many math classes, I always studied in the morning, okay, always before tests. I would wake up at four in the morning, have my coffee. Let me tell you, it helps. It really, really helps. Mornings are key. Mornings are key. Your mind is fresh, you're ready to go, get it done. It sets the tone for the rest of your day. If you get something done in the morning before you go to school, before you go to work, you've already conquered the day and technically your day hasn't begun, right? You've, you've worked out, you've gone for a run, you've done 10 math problems and it's 8 a.m., right? I mean, that, you've already had a good day and your day's just getting started. So that sets the tone for the rest of the day. Not only that, you've taken some action and we talked about it, right? Action is the one power you have that can change your life. You also have to believe in yourself. That's another thing that is very, very important. You know, believing in yourself, believing that you can succeed because I think a lot of people don't take action because they think they're gonna fail and they, don't, they just think they can't do it. And that's something that I think, fortunately for me, I have been lucky that I have always had belief. That's not something that I've ever lost. So I've been really, really fortunate that that's how I'm wired. Not everyone is wired that way, okay? Not everyone is like that, right? But I have that, I'm lucky that I'm that way, right? Because not everyone is, I know a lot of people don't believe they can do, I believe I can do anything. I, you know, I, I have no, no limits, and I don't believe people should. I, I don't think you should put any limits on anything, right? You can do anything, start believing. 
really start believing. And, and if you take away anything from this video, it's action, right? Take action. Whatever it is you're trying to do in life, go do it right now.